Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I want to read to you. See, some people are saying that I'm begging. Well, again, I got another email from the fake Assembly of God here in Carrollton. Oh, hang on a second. I don't know if you can see that good enough. Here, uh, trying to get in here where you can see it here without, I don't know, too much light. I don't know. Here, trying to. Oh, good grief. Let's see if you can see it here. I think I might have too much light. Hang on. On my camera. Where um, I can't see what I'm showing. I have a lot of emails here, and I've been, of course, printing them off. Okay, here we go. I see what I'm showing now. I don't, you know, put this on through, uh, you know, how other people do it. If you don't like it. I don't care. I don't manipulate. I don't edit or manipulate my videos. I just show you in real time what's going on. If you don't like real time videos, then you have a problem. But here it says, of course, I put a lot of this evil stuff in red that this person is saying. But if you notice, what I highlighted as well, and I underlined at the very end there, where it says, or diabetes medicine. Basically, that is this person saying that they think Amish doesn't take medication. And not only that, they're trying to say, if, well, you know, if you're diabetic and you don't take your medication, you know what happens? You can, one, end up in insulin shock or insulin coma. Or what they call, actually, diabetic coma or insulin shock. Insulin shock is when your sugar goes low. Below, um, mainly below uh, 70. If it goes below 70, you're going into insulin shock. If your insulin goes over 400, you can end up in a coma. Insulin coma. Basically, this person is more or less saying, I want you dead. I want you dead. Is what they're saying. They want me. They want me dead for asking for help. God's word says we can ask for help, and that's another thing too. You hate me preaching the truth. You hate me preaching the truth. That is a whole bottom line. You can say whatever you want. Say you hate me because you think I'm this and you think I'm that. You know what? You hate me for preaching the truth. Why don't you just come out and say it? You hate me for preaching the truth. Because you hate the truth. Because you want your mindset and what you believe to be the truth when you know it's not. John, oh, excuse me, Matthew, I'm going to read Matthew first. Matthew, of course it says 6 there, but right here, it, underneath the 6, start with 7. Matthew 7, 7. And the title is, Keep Asking, Seeking, Knocking. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find it. Knock, and it will be opened to you. 
For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Ask, and it will be given to you. But today, churches, they run on money. If they don't have money, then they can't help if someone's asking for help. Or if they get a stupid email from a lying internet troll. Well, you know, they can say one thing, but yet, you know, I also know they got an email. And they said exactly the same thing that the email said that I should do. Uh, so, in John 14, in John 14, John 14, of course, I got up here because right underneath about keeping uh, his commandments, but above that, it says here in 13 and 14, And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. This is Jesus talking. If we ask in his name, he will do it. A lot of churches fail on that because of the fact when someone's asking a church, you know, they're assuming they're asking in the name of Jesus. Because a church is supposed to be doing what Jesus said to do. But again, oh, oh, it, all, it always, it always boils down to money. So you can ask, you know, a church or, or Jesus anymore. I mean, yes, they're asking God in the name of Jesus. And when you're praying, sometimes miracles do happen. Other times you just go wait for that miracle. There's been, you know, a lot of strange things that's happened in the past uh, that you only know is from God. But then there are things that stifle God and His blessings on the people. I mean, lots of times that can be a church or a pastor. Or another Christian. And even haters. Nobody is going to stifle my blessings. Nobody is going to stifle my gifts. Nobody is going to stifle my, my passion that God has given me. Whether they like it or not. They need to grow up. And accept that I know what I'm talking about. I know God's word. And I also... Well, I know the truth. I'm not saying I'm smarter than some other scholastic person. Sometimes even the wisest professor really is dumb. God bless you. Have a blessed day.